right, read in a big loud voice, son. Page 2096, chapter slash day 261. We're reading the book Giant Steps by Tony Robbins. Ask me a couple of questions. Okay. Um, what is your judging group? My brain. Good. I um, decide whether something is pleasant, like this park right now with nobody smoking around me. and it's Basically, the whole playground is ours. Like, yeah, no it's... one is in the playground. They're all in the other playground across. But at the same time, when it's full of people, if they're all playing nicely, it's also a pleasant place. I see a group approaching, and they're not coming by car. There are only a four cars that I see. That's very few. All right, go ahead and uh, ask me another question to make sure I understand what's going on with this book. Come on. Um, okay, what determines whether you feel good or bad about a situation? Your rules, is that what he said? Yeah. Okay, well, what's a rule? <coughs> a rule would be, I feel great at the park. Well, that's not a rule. <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's, an opinion. that's an opinion. Or a fact. <laughs> well, we got to look up rules. Oh, uh, people should not have loud music like to bother other opinion. people. That, yeah, those are rules, are opinions. But when other people break them, then we get upset if we choose to. Uh, for instance, the boy we just saw now said, could I pet your dog? And then I said, yes. And then he asked, is she friendly? <laughs> he was making sure, right? Because sometimes you say, you can't pet the dog. There you go. Um, by the way, can we move over there? To the stadium? Or can I, like, check out for that? Make an entry? Uh, in a few minutes. See? That made you feel better, right? No, not yet. All right, breathe in. Well, you can't, you can't puke forever, so. Yeah. Don't put any more water in your stomach. Max, I wanted to keep talking. I'm up here. All right, so what did Tony Robbins do that was so good, that made him so famous? Yeah, he's got a school, I think. If I don't think he has a school. Maybe he has like a seminar or something. A workshop when people talk about how to install solar panels or how to install positive beliefs so that you can achieve something. That's fine. All right, so he got famous, son, by walking on fire. Like those guys from India? Like those gurus or shamans, what are they called? Those religious holy men from India? Yeah. That's what he did. He walked on coals, burning hot coals. I still don't know why he didn't get burned. I don't understand that. Um, no, because he told people, if you follow me, you won't get burned. But they had to sign a paper that they wouldn't sue him, I think. They could get burned, but they couldn't. What happened was, I think the technique has something to do with science. 
You know what that means? Yes. You have to let the burns, the coals burn for a total of so many, so much time. No. And when you, when you step on the first one, you keep going. You don't stop. You're barefoot, by the way. You're not listening, Max. So you, you're barefoot when that happens. All right, that's how he got famous. But it, what he said was, the quality of my life, I'm quoting him, is the quality of my communication. What I tell myself and what I tell other people. Yes, sir. Help you. Are you going to keep pulling your hair? You sure about that? You're going to take care of the body God is loaning you? All right. Sit up then. Sit up. I'll help you. Put your feet down. Now, first, let's go back to telling me what happened. Why did you get sick like this? What happened? What did you do? You ate too much. All right. So next time, what are you going to do? Learn from it. Don't eat too much. All right. So just enjoy. Enjoy the grass. Breathe in. <sighs> Talk to God. Thank you for the fresh air, God. Focus on that. And sit still for a while. If you touch a, f uh, a flame, like in a candle, if you touch a flame, you're going to get burned. Yo, his forehead is cold. If you touch the flame, you will get burned. And then you suffer for a while. But at the same time, <coughs> Jesus is healing you. God is healing you in the name of Jesus. Go pat him on the back or, or move his, his like like Oh patting him no, no? Doesn't help. Well once all the once all the food is out, you'll be fine. How do you know the dog is sad? No, if they go, the tail goes in between the legs when she's scared. Um, right now it's just down. Oh, she's probably a fly is bothering her. Oh, that's what they are. Yeah, maybe. Well, God bless you and those that's around you.